Hey, good morning, everybody. My name is Fashion, and um, this morning I just wanted to share something that I feel is going to be a very, very important and useful information for your life and in your relationships. Um, I've been through some really, really tough things over the last year, and what I realized is that most of our problem is with, in our relationships, is with forgiveness. A lot of us are depressed, a lot of us are suffering in our relationships, a lot of us are um, struggling with stress, and I just wanted to be a blessing to you today just to help you better understand how this poison of unforgiveness is hindering your life and your relationships. And if you're having a problem with this, and some of us may not even understand that we are struggling with this issue, um, I'm going to hear, I'm here to help you identify what that is today. Hopefully I can be a uh, of some help or a resource of information to be able to bless you in this area. So let's just get right to it. Um, unforgiveness, it really is, it's like a prison of everyone who has offended you, who's hurt you, who's violated you, and you put all of these people in this little prison whom you either want to get revenge from, who you are holding a grudge on, or you just so hurt about the situation, it has translated into anger and unforgiveness, and you don't necessarily know how to deal with it. But I'm going to tell you something. Um, there is a power that is higher than yourself, that is available to anyone who would like to access it. And it's through our Heavenly Father God. God can give you the power to forgive the unforgivable. He can give you the ability to be set free by releasing these people from this prison. This prison of debt that someone owes you. They owe you for what they've done to you. What they took from you how they violated and hurt you. There is a power that is accessible to help you navigate through these relationships and through these issues with these relationships. And I want people to understand also that when you let that person free from prison, you are also set free from prison. Because unforgiveness is a bondage that not only holds them captive, but also you. And it's funny how you could be holding on to something against someone and you can't sleep at night. You're having trouble uh, eating. You know, it takes a lot of energy. It's draining. You know what I'm saying? It takes a lot of energy to be upset with somebody. Can't even see them. Can't even walk in their presence, you know, without getting turned up. You know, that, that's very draining, and, and what it is, is robbing you of your happiness, your peace, your joy, and the abundant life that you could be living. So when you set them free and release them from this debt that they owe you, you also release yourself. So for, forgiving someone is a choice. It's just a made-up mind to say, I'm going to let this go. I'm going to give this over to the Howard Power. Power higher power <laughs> and I'm going to let him avenge me. God has told us that he will avenge us and I want to share that with you in Matthew 6 and 15 in the book, great book called the Bible. The word of God says, but if you don't forgive others of their sins, your father in heaven would not forgive your sins. And so, we know that we can't even enter the kingdom of heaven without having repented and received forgiveness. So, 
in this world we know is called karma or some say the reaping and sowing law. But Galatians 6 and 9 says that God is not to be mocked and man shall reap what he has sown. So you have to sow forgiveness in order to reap forgiveness. So when we forgive, God also forgives us. Keep that in mind. Um, and you have to ask yourself, is this grudge or is this um, this basically anger that I'm holding against this person, is it worth my admission into the kingdom? The answer is no. Is it worth my prayers being answered, being hindered from God? The answer is no. No one is worth your admission into the kingdom. No one is worth your happiness, your joy, your peace. No matter what the violation, no matter what the offense may have been, God can give you the power, the ability to release the debt of these persons. It is very possible. I want to share with you in Romans 12, 18 through 21, that the word of God says this. He says simply, If it is possible, as far as it depends upon you, live at peace with everyone. Do not take revenge, my friends, but leave room for God's wrath. Leave room for God's wrath, for it is written, it is mine to avenge. I will repay, says the Lord. On the contrary, and this is the part that gets us the most, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, Give him something to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. If you want to really get back at somebody, overcome evil with good. Evil begets evil, but good begets good blessings to get blessings and you're not responsible for how they have treated you how they have hurt you how they used abuse violated you you're not responsible for that you're responsible for how you deal with it you they are going to answer for what they've done they are going to be held accountable for what they've done either on earth and in heaven or absolutely come judgment, they are going to have to be accountable for what they have done. For every word, for every action, and for every deed that's done in this body, they're going to stand accountable. So that is not for you to worry about. God said that he will avenge you. He says, a vengeance is mine. So don't even worry about it. There is nothing that goes unseen from the eyes of God. Trust and know that our higher power our God, our Creator, our Heavenly Father, He has taken note and He has His hand on your life and He will give you the ability to get through this. But it's a choice. Forgiveness is not a feeling. I want really want to express that. Forgiveness is not a feeling. Forgiveness is a choice to let go. You don't owe me nothing. I don't need revenge anymore. I'm not going to be full of hate, anger, bitterness, and rage anymore. I'm going to let you go, and I'm going to let go. And I'm going to be free to live my life in peace and joy and happiness that God, that Christ died to give me. You see, God loved us so much, and we have the nerve to even be mad at God. God, why did you allow this? God, how did you let this happen to me? Well, people, we suffer because of sin. God is not responsible for the sin that we choose to do. But he did say that he will work out everything that you go through in your life. All those who love him, he will work out everything in your life for your good. He will work it out for your good. He will conform it in a way that what evil meant to destroy you, he will use it to build you up, to make you stronger, to bless your life. 
if you're trusting him. So know that there is a power. It's called the grace of God. It will give you the ability to release your enemy. Release all anger, rage, bitterness. And the need for vengeance. Knowing and understanding that you have a heavenly father who has your back. And who is already settling those accounts. And that no one will get away with anything that they have done to you. God said that whatever you've done unto my little ones, you have also done unto me. He takes it very personal. So don't think that anyone is getting away with anything that they have done. You have to know that your life and your freedom is more important. And you make that decision to let go. It is not a feeling. Forgiveness is a process and it may take a little while to get over the hurt and the pain. But the moment that you make the decision to say, I'm going to let go, it's not worth it. It's not worth the pain. It's not worth the tiredness I feel from being drained, being mad at this person all the time, taking away from my life, taking away from my, my family gatherings, taking away from my relationship. Some of y'all are stressed out and depressed um, and in isolation simply because you won't forgive. This thing that, that you're holding on to, it is killing you. It is deteriorating you from the inside out. And it's also affecting your relationships with other people. And most importantly, if God has the ability to forgive us of all the craziness, ratchetness, sinfulness that we have done and we have committed individually, even if it, we have not done the exact same thing that someone has done to you, we have all fallen short of God's glory and his grace. There is something that we all need forgiveness from. So do you really have a right to be angry? This is the question. Maybe you do. But God said that you can be angry and not sin. There's a way to manage that anger. There's a way to channel that. And there's a way to uh, be free from it. If you release it to him. You got to release. Sometimes it's so simple um, that it, it, it's confusing. But I just want to share that with you. And just give you a little taste of what has helped me when I come across a thought or a memory or even the person who has offended me and I'm not quite sure what to do or how to do it I simply pray this prayer God I surrender my heart to you I surrender my emotions and my feelings to you I release and surrender this person and this offense to you I need you to strengthen me. Lord, I release it to you. I submit to you. Have your way. Give me the strength and the power to heal. And I believe it is done. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. And I will tell you that praying that prayer several times, and you have to be consistent, and you have to mean it from your heart, or else it's all for nothing. You have to really, really want to be set free. So if you're ready to be free today, if you're ready to... Live a life full of abundance and joy. And to be released from the bondage of unforgiveness. Let go today. Surrender it all to the Heavenly Father. Who will settle all debts. He will settle all accounts. On your behalf. And you also make sure that you ask for forgiveness for everything that may have you have done to offend someone else or even him. Be free today. Release today. Submit and be ready to walk in a freedom and liberty you have never known. I hope this has blessed you. Have a great day. God bless.